Like food and water, adequate sleep is a basic human need. Sleep affects cardiovascular, metabolic, and neurological functions that are critical to health. Changes to sleep patterns are part of the normal aging process. As people age, they tend to have more trouble falling and staying asleep than when they were younger. Older adults tend to get sleepier earlier in the evening and awaken earlier in the morning. Many people believe that poor sleep is a normal part of aging, but it is not. In fact, many healthy older adults report few or no sleep problems. Sleep patterns change as we age, but disturbed sleep and waking up tired every day are not part of normal aging. Sleep complaints by older adults should not be disregarded or viewed as simply part of the aging process. There are many possible explanations for these changes. Older adults may produce less melatonin, the hormone that promotes sleep. They may also be more sensitive to the changes in the environment, such as noise. Older adults may also have other medical and psychiatric problems that can affect their sleep. Prostate enlargement in men and continence problems in women often wake up older adults at night to use the bathroom. Unfortunately, waking up to go to the bathroom at night also places them at greater risk for falling. Interestingly, older adults need about the same amount of sleep as younger adults. The National Sleep Foundation recommends that older adults need seven to eight hours of sleep per night which is similar with seven to nine hours for those who are 18 to 64 years of age. According to the National Sleep Foundation Sleepy America poll, 44% of older adults experience disturbed sleep at least a few nights each week. The ability to drive is critical for older adult independence. Disturbed sleep and drowsiness, which is often the presenting symptoms of common sleep disorders, can interfere with safe driving ability for older adults. Not sleeping well can lead to a number of problems. Older adults who have poor nighttime sleep are more likely to have attention and memory problems, a depressed mood, daytime sleepless, and more falls. Poor sleep is also associated with poor quality of life. Researchers have identified a variety of practices known as sleep hygiene that can help anyone sleep. There are some simple yet effective tips including older adults should avoid caffeine, alcohol, nicotine, and other chemicals that interfere with sleep. Avoid caffeine, which is found in coffee, tea, chocolate, cola, and some pain relievers for four to six hours before bedtime. Smokers should refrain from using tobacco products too close to bedtime. Although alcohol may help bring on sleep, after a few hours, it acts as a stimulant, increasing the number of awakenings and generally decreasing the quality of sleep later in the night. Therefore, it's best to limit alcohol consumption to one to two drinks per day or less, and to avoid drinking within three hours of bedtime. Older adults can turn his or her bedroom into a sleep-inducing environment. A quiet, dark, and cool environment can help promote sleep. It may help to limit bedroom activities to sleep and sex only. Keeping computers, TVs, and work materials out of the room will improve the mental association between bedroom and sleep. Going to bed and waking up at the same time each day sets the body's internal clock to expect sleep at a certain time every night. Even if the older adult did not sleep well the night before, the extra sleep drive will help consolidate sleep in the following night. Natural light keeps the internal clock on a healthy sleep-wake cycle, so natural light should be let into the room first thing in the morning. Nap early or not at all 
If the older adult must nap, it's better to keep it short and before 5 p.m. Exercise can also help the older adult fall asleep faster and sleep more soundly, as long as it's done at the right time. Exercise should be finished at least three hours before bed. So it's recommended to work out earlier in the day. If the older adult still has trouble sleeping, he or she should discuss this with their doctor or healthcare provider. The most common sleep disorders among older adults are insomnia, obstructive sleep apnea, and restless leg syndrome, or RLS. Insomnia is the most common sleep complaint at any age. It affects almost half of the adults 60 and older. The prevalence of insomnia is also higher among older adults. Individuals with insomnia may experience any one or any combination of the following symptoms. Taking a long time, more than 30 to 45 minutes, to fall asleep. Waking up many times each night. Waking up early and being unable to get back to sleep. Waking up feeling tired and unable to function well during the day. Obstructive sleep apnea is a common sleep-related breathing disorder affecting at least 5% of the general population. Classic symptoms of obstructive sleep apnea include snoring, snorting, or gasping during sleep, and excessive daytime sleepiness. Individuals with sleep apnea may present a wide range of symptoms, which may increase the difficulty of early diagnosis. Untreated sleep apnea puts a person at risk for hypertension, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, stroke, memory loss, and depression. RLS is a neurological movement disorder characterized by an irresistible urge to move the limbs. This is a common condition in older adults and affects more than 15% of people 80 years and older. People with RLS experience uncomfortable feelings in their legs, such as tingling, crawling, or pins and needles that are relieved by moving the legs. This often makes it hard to fall asleep or stay asleep and causes daytime sleepiness. Many primary care providers can diagnose sleep disorders and offer suggestions and treatments that can improve sleep. In conclusion, Poor sleep or sleep disturbance is not a part of normal aging. The vital role that sleep plays in overall health and well-being is increasingly being recognized. To emphasize the importance of sleep to public health, sleep health has been added as a topic to the Healthy People 2020 initiative. Research is seeking to better define effects of sleep and its disorders, as well as the risks and benefits of interventions that address sleep disturbance in older adults.